here we have a function f of x is equal to x, sorry, minus x squared plus 4x minus 5. Now we're given one zero of this function. One zero is in the complex plane 2 plus i. We want to see if the conjugate of that zero, 2 minus i, is also a zero for this in the complex plane. So we'll simply evaluate this twice, one for each conjugate, and see if they both give us zeros. So let's begin with f of 2 plus i. So we'll just evaluate this function, replacing x with this uh, zero here, this 2 plus i. So minus quantity 2 plus i, quantity squared, plus 4 times 2 plus i, minus 5. So then we'll just work this out, see if we get a zero, try for the other one as well. So let's expand this. We have minus, and then we have, let's keep it in here, 2 times 2 is 4, i times i is i squared, but i is of course the square root of negative 1, so i squared is just negative 1. And then we have 2 times i plus 2 times i, or plus 4i. Okay, so we still have some i's in here as well. Plus, now we can just expand this through this 4, so 4 times 2 is 8, plus 4 times i is 4i. And we still have our minus 5. All right, now we can distribute this negative through and see what we get. Negative 4, sorry, let's add these together now. We have 4 minus 1 is 3, so we'll just say negative 3, and then negative 4i, so minus 4i, plus 8 minus 5, so that's actually plus 3, and then this is the same, plus 4i. So what do we have here? Minus 3, mi plus 3, minus 4i, plus 4i. So these cancel, and these cancel. So in fact, we just get this function, 2 plus i is equal to 0. Now, you have, now we'll evaluate the function again using the conjugate of 2 plus i, which is of course 2 minus i. So let's just do that. f of 2 minus i gives us minus 2 minus i squared plus 4 times 2 minus i minus 5. So let's just expand this out and see what we get. So this is still minus out front. Then we have 2 times 2 is 4. We have negative i times negative i, which is positive i squared. Positive i squared is just negative 1 again. Then we have minus 2i, minus 2i again, gives us minus 4i. And then here we expand this 4 through and we have plus 8. And then we have minus 4i here. And then we still have minus 5. So let's simplify this and see what we get. So 4 minus 1 is 3, so minus 3. Then we have minus, minus neg, uh, 4i, so we have plus 4i. And then we have 8 minus 5, which is plus 3, and this is still minus 4i. So do these cancel? Sure, we have minus 3i plus 3i plus 4i minus 4. So we have minus 3 plus 3 plus 4i, minus 4i. So this does, in fact, evaluate to give us 0 again. So for this original function, we evaluated at some value that we saw was a 0. We found the conjugate of that evaluated, and sure enough, it's also a 0.